TMS is a proven non-drug treatment mm -hmm. for depression. It is the first of an emerging field of technologies using brain stimulation to treat serious psychiatric disorders. Mm -hmm. It's a short procedure done in your psychiatrist's office, lasts about 37 minutes. You're awake and alert during that procedure. You can drive yourself to and from the procedure and resume your normal daily activities. It uses a magnetic field similar in type and strength to that you find in nuclear magnetic resonance machines, MRI scans, mm. in order to gently stimulate some neurons in the brain involved with mood regulation and treat depression accordingly. TMS uses a magnetic coil similar to the type and strength found in MRI machines. Now the key words here are focused and targeted. This coil is designed to focus in small areas of the brain so your clinician can target the specific cells in the brain involved in mood regulation. By doing this, by gently stimulating these cells to fire, it causes the release of neurotransmitters, which is the brain's chemical communication molecules. Now, the cool part about this is by stimulating the left prefrontal cortex, we can actually cause physiologic changes and structural changes deeper in the brain in structures that are involved in generating mood. By stimulating these cells and increasing their metabolism and blood flow, it's kind of like stimulating a muscle fiber. You stimulate them again and again and again, and we can actually, by doing this, restore normal functioning to these parts of the brain. It's important to know that when you're undergoing a TMS session, you are awake and alert. The clinician will place you in a comfortable position and put the magnet, which is about the size of a cupped hand, directly over your prefrontal cortex. You're going to hear a loud clicking noise. Over a four second period of time, the machine is going to deliver 40 pulses. And this is going to happen every 30 seconds for a 37 minute period of time till you get about 3,000 pulses from the machine. This can cause some scalp discomfort. You're going to feel a tapping sensation right underneath the magnet. This is really the main side effect of the treatment. It can cause uh, some irritation. The clinician can either move the magnet or, as usually happens, the patient adjusts to that, to that feeling over the first week. We're going to deliver this treatment over 20 to 30 sessions, which lasts about four to six weeks. Again, the most common side effect is scalp discomfort right underneath where the magnet is placed on your head that usually diminishes over a period of a week. Some patients are going to have a mild headache during and after the procedure during the first week. It also diminishes and responds very well to over-the-counter analgesics. Important to remember that because TMS is focused and targeted, Unlike medications which circulate through the entire body, it does not cause weight gain, sexual dysfunction, stomach discomfort, or dry mouth. And unlike ECT, or electroconvulsive therapy, it does not run electricity through the entire brain and cause a seizure. Again, it's focused on the cells involved in mood regulation, and as a result, causes no seizure and results in no change in our ability to think or our short-term memory. TMS was tested with over 10,000 active treatment sessions during the clinical trials. And during the clinical trials, there were no deaths or seizures during that period of time. It's important to know that only one out of 20 patients during this clinical trial stopped the clinical trial because of side effects or other reasons. This is way less than what you see in the clinical trials associated with medication. It does not cause the side effects associated with medications because, again, medications circulate through the entire system, causing weight gain, sexual dysfunction, dry mouth, stomach problems. 
and it's not running electricity through the whole brain. So there is no seizure associated with it, and there are no problems with thinking or memory after the treatment is done. This treatment was found so safe and effective by the American Psychiatric Association that in 2010, they recommended it that, that it be considered as early as the failure of the first antidepressant. I'm very pleased with the results I've seen in my practice so far. For example, several patients uh, who have come to me had been on a number of antidepressants over a period of several years. And either because they couldn't tolerate the antidepressant or because they were ineffective, they had not yet responded. These patients all reached a full response with TMS. Now there's another patient, and this is very interesting. She had a good response when another medicine was added to her antidepressant, but here was the problem. She gained 20 pounds. So she came to me uh, for a TMS consult. I was able to remove that second medication, treat her with TMS, get her back to full remission. She lost the 20 pounds. Um, over the eight months that I've been doing TMS, I still haven't seen any reoccurrences of depression in the patients I've treated. TMS it should be considered as a treatment for any patient who has failed to respond to antidepressant treatment. The only patients that cannot have TMS are patients who have metal objects embedded in their heads such as clips or plates. Braces and fillings are fine. There are a number of excellent resources on the internet to learn about TMS. You can find access to most of those resources by visiting our website at barringtontms.com. And if you're interested in knowing if TMS is right for you, call us at 847-381-2300.